You really think that we don't like? You think I haven't spent? Yo, what is this voice? The last twenty years seeing Fox News do this shit, seeing CNN <laughs> do this shit. He definitely is trying to roast the shit out of him. Like, what are we talking about? A job is a job. Doesn't matter the medium. Well, let me hear what this what like. What does this mean? Rat. I can't believe this. It's like because I mean, just reading this sentence alone, I feel like there was more you could grab from this than just what it is. It can't just be that thirteen like clips on 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 any platform is just not the way to consume somebody's point about something. So it's probably more to what he was saying. Hopefully, this guy goes and farms a bunch of hate. My message to Hassan fans: get a job. <laughs> but then he agrees with the tweet. What are you doing? What a little rat! This guy farms hate on Hassan. <laughs> he gets 15 people from Hassan's chat saying, I don't agree with uh. you. You took it out of context. And then he's got like, a follow-up tweet about it. Like, oh no, stop bullying me. Uh, he changed his mind because Destiny said he agrees with Hassan. <laughs> TC Brady is in Destiny's Discord. Job application yeah. is hilarious. I'm sorry. It's good to know that it wasn't really a principled stance. Oh, that's Let's funny listen to what Hassan says. And this is the clip that's taken uh, apparently out of context. And we'll watch the full context in a minute, okay? Yes, a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired. But a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In this No, I don't know what you mean. Same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. I don't know what that means. So, okay. Yes. So that that's the. <laughs> can, can, can we expand? And can we? Apparently, can this we, is uh, there, we, there's a clip here. It's it's a two minute clip. Can we expound and on so that? This is him explaining. Oh, okay, there's more. Uh, Good. There's more. There's more. Said. There's more. There's more. No. Okay. Here we go. No. 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 Social battery wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. With my, I'm gonna die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here, and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job, a real job, okay? I'm telling you... I still disagree. As someone who did, did both, like, nine hours of, of constant performance and people-pleasing taps you out from social scenarios after nine hours of that i could probably do fucking physical labor it would not bother me but i can't fucking do more social shit that's my point i'm the same one i mean he might be speaking for himself but i completely i completely disagree with that like there are obviously real jobs out there that are good <laughs> what the fuck is this comparisons service sector people pleasing jobs would be very similar those are like i think customer service type shit but like if you're an accountant or if you're even like in sales my interactions with clients was limited way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours that's what that's what like sucks your your social battery and you just tap out after it i'm still lost completely like, I don't know if the point is that, I mean, I could, I, I don't think that, like, the problem when you, when you bring, like, issues up about the profession or a profession as simple, because I won't say streaming doesn't associate itself with, like, with, like, work. Every, everything that you earn income from most likely contains some level of effort or work, but it's hard to make something as simple and oftentimes repetitive as streaming out to be this this problem that's so specific to streaming that you need to openly come out and say streaming drains a social battery as if and I'm not saying that the comparison being made here is that like regular work doesn't I'm not saying that that's what he's saying but there's left with this implication that there's this unique issue with streaming that will drain your social battery that a nine to five regular work job wouldn't as well like that's what the job jobs have been in doing. The general is in a negative state. Niggas don't want to work no more, nor are they being paid enough. 
Plus with the emphasis on going to college in certain cultures, debt adds more stress as well. 100%. His anecdote isn't evidence. And you don't want to you don't want to be at risk. Nigga F this convo, how is this nigga balancing the shit? Balancing what? <laughs> That's what I asked, but I, I I didn't think it was a real like you know I didn't even know he was balancing. I thought it was actually on top of his head, but uh, I mean even if you wanted to say physical labor like physically demanding work drains your social battery in a way that people who only have to I guess speak for a living or uh, interact with people face to face if you're in a sales job or if you're in retail, it drains your social battery in a way that they don't talk about either. It actually prevents you from utilizing any type of social interaction because if you're so physically tired to a point where you don't wanna speak to anyone, you most likely are gonna go to sleep after you get done working a nine to five physically demanding labor type job. I know my dad, for instance, he worked a lot um, and it was to a point where oftentimes when he got off work, uh, he would be like, hey, son, what's going on? How are you? Um, and that would be the limit to a conversation when I would be over at his house when he would get back from work and he would go to sleep when he got home. Uh, he wouldn't have any of the uh, food that was in the fridge that my sister might have made. He will wake up the next day and maybe eat some. But it leaves you unfunctional to the rest of the world when you're working a physically demanding job too. And so when you have people that you know that have those experiences, it's like, well, what the fuck are you talking to me about streaming for? Why are you talking to me about um, how hard it is to, you know, I guess put up with the reality of a nine hour stream when you're not, when not only can you make your own hours and you get to make a ridiculous amount of money in the process to a point where you might at any point say fuck streaming today i could just go or do anything else because i feel like it versus somebody who has to i guess manually give themselves to their job and they don't get to break out of that monotony and they don't get to create a schedule you know demand their own days off uh get raises in pay based off of the interaction i guess with their particular job that day like a lot of y'all shit is just based off of when you feel like it if you don't like what you're doing you have the ability to do almost anything else whenever you feel like it i don't get that but i don't I get what this point for is for you and chat how did our economy get to a place where we're seeing more people not work and be laid off in certain companies what does this mean for future generations well, it pigeonholes future generations into certain forms of work and eliminates certain other forms of work. Like we're talking about how AI is potentially threatening real artists work and why it's a big problem and people shouldn't be supporting it. That may be a line of work in the future that's not as required because they're getting software to do it for them in a way that is marketed to people who don't give a fuck about art in any capacity and can't really tell the difference in the small minute details. Those people that want to be aspiring photographers or videographers or, you know, they want to work in, you know, editing or things like that. It's not going to be as readily available to those same people. I mean, if that's one of the questions that you're asking, it's not necessarily relevant to what they're talking about, but it's still a big issue in reference to this idea that streaming is has this unique problem that doesn't also exist in other industries that require you to leave the house. Yeah, think about it this way. Like. You give presentations for your job, right? Imagine giving a presentation for nine hours straight. It's like, after a while, you would be like, I don't want to talk. Or the department manager just occasionally is just like, Hey, you suck, bitch! Bald-ass bitch, you fell off, huh? Is he talking about Twitch chat? Or like online? Is he talking about like, the internet? We're gonna remember this in your performance review. <laughs> you fat fuck. <laughs> Stupid ass bitch. Like what? Ever again. <laughs> like and? <laughs> so? Like I mean I could I could I you you have bro, Twitch is so specific in the shit that you can do to protect yourself from harassment to a certain degree. You could literally be like, you know what? I don't like the way y'all y'all are talking. Go sub only. I don't like the, what y'all are saying to me. Go emote only. Hey, I got a Reddit. Hey, my moderators of my Reddit, like remove certain posts or certain shit so that I can't see it. Hey, I, I don't like my DMs, for instance. I could filter through certain things and not allow certain people in. I don't like what this person said. Mod, ban him. 
like you're you're just you're you're basically just saying like oh yeah people say shit and i and i read it and it it, it makes me mad sometimes like okay and i don't know what you get to you get to leave you get to you get to stop your stream and you can do anything is saying all he's saying is that it's straining to 100 percent. he's not saying his job is harder i know that here's the problem i don't think there's an issue with him saying that streaming is draining because that could be valid that's why I don't think that any line of work in any industry should really be disrespected because a lot of people are ignorant to the work that goes into it. However, when you bring it up as a point of contention in the profession that you're working and you are talking to regular working class people, you're making the streaming industry seem as if there's this one problem that's so unique to it alone that other people who are in the workforce leaving their house every day don't also have to go through and they 100 percent do so it's going to make them less empathetic to this idea that oh well why are you complaining about streaming the same shit you're talking about is the same shit i go through but not only do i not get to make as much money as you do i don't get to create my own schedule i don't get to say when and when or when and where i'll go to work i don't get to choose who my collaborators are going to be or which people i work with at which particular point during the day um, I also got to leave the house and go through a traffic commute. I might have to take my kids to school in the morning or pick them up. I might have to take my siblings to work. I might have to take someone to school. Like, it's a lot. I just don't think that when you make that the point of uh, why it could be draining, there's my, my boy, I've worked. Like, I, I, do, I did the exact same shit. I I was so tired to a point where I would walk in my house with my mom or with my sister and I would say, hi, how you been? Love you. Good night. And I would go to bed because I was so fucking tired. I can't. It's not even about my social battery at that point. I'm physically unable to do anything else but rest right now. I don't even get an opportunity to use my social battery whether it's been drained or not, I can't utilize it because I'm so physically exhausted. And there's mad people that go through that. I don't, I don't understand. So people are getting mad. It's a bad take. What's it a bad take of? He says that he gets exhausted socially because he's talking to people for nine hours a day. You and that's valid. Nobody should say that's invalid. You can get drained talking to people nonstop. You can. That's not invalid. I really think that's but that's also not the point. You really think that's not true? I mean, you really think it's not true? Right, Boma's, a, Boma's an example of that too. I know of people in the medical industry that especially during COVID, need, they should get fucking therapy for all the abuse that they suffered on the, on the job. All the interactions that they had to, uh, all the interactions of people that they had to deal with, and all the people that they had to watch die in that particular instance during COVID and shit like that. Like, there are so many people, especially during that most recent time. I just, how we could get through that, especially as an entertainer, right? If you are an entertainer and you got through 2019 to 2023 or whatever, I, it's just hard to come away verbalizing the pitfalls of streaming knowing that there was so much of that maybe that's a little bit of like oh well everybody has it harder i don't like coming off like that but it would make me mute my own issues i guess to that to that degree i, I couldn't come out publicly and say something like that is what i'm basically trying to say that after you spend nine hours being investigated by thousands of people with every facial movement, everything you say, every word, with people constantly trying to disagree with you and fight with you. That's not I see where he emotional. comes from, but he should also acknowledge how lucky he is to be in that position. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100%. And that's the problem. When, when you're a streamer and you're the size of these people... Most people expect you to just never say anything about any issue that you ever face. Like you can't go through anything because you have it so significantly better than me that it comes off insulting or patronizing. You understand? Um, obviously, that's not the case. And they still have a right to have their own grievances because they should. Um, it just comes off a way. I don't think they realize how it comes off. They, 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 it would appear as if they're so far removed from the same people that they're talking to.
And it's like, God damn, like, what the fuck? Um, you're presenting your concerns in good faith and weren't waiting for him to mess up to pile on like most. Yeah, I don't have like this. I don't hate like most of these content creators. I don't know them. I don't know what they into. I don't have like a a bias against them or anything like that. It just sounds crazy. You know what I mean? Oh, you're sorry. Like on its face, the statement sounds crazy coming from the people that it's going to come from, you know, socially draining. This is totally understandable. And he's not comparing it to every other job. He's saying compared to other jobs where you're not talking to people constantly. His take isn't broad enough. It is. He explained it pretty clearly. The clip out of context was posted 30 minutes after he said that. Instantly on Reddit, it blew up. Called this is the starving children in Africa argument. It is to a degree. I think some people are going to look at this like, yo, you know, there are people that are having way worse than you. But. You know what work you know what makes that argument not the same is like a lot of people use that they're starving kids in Africa to 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 prevent people from complaining about like regular grievances. Most people use that argument against people that are like regular class. But when you're a chat basically full of regular working class listening to people that are in the one percent complain about something like that, you're gonna receive no empathy. Like these are aren't these aren't topics or conversations I don't think are valid, but shouldn't be expressed to people that have such so much more significantly less than you. I think you should explain these things to other people that can relate to the same issue so it doesn't come off as ungrateful. Because that's essentially what it's gonna be. Nothing that you or this person has described is unique enough to streaming for to justify a, a, a 20 minute video about why you know you feel he's right i just don't calling him a dumbass which just reinforces his argument well yeah it's definitely understandable exactly just think nobody knows what's really socially draining well uh not saying it isn't but it's not as bad as others um i think that like so streaming as like a job is extremely socially draining you're saying to add some extra sensi sensitivity when explaining your opinion? No, I'm saying not to say anything at all. I'm kinda late, what time is happening here for class? I don't even mean make it sensitive or make it, you know, uh, uh, more palatable for regular people to understand. I'm saying just be quiet. You better off not saying anything. Because you're never going to get people to be empathetic with that aspect of it. There are unique issues, I would say that exists within the entertainment industry or within streaming that you could put people on to. I just don't think that's one of them. It is. Uh, that's why, like, there's a weird um, catch-22. Sean, do you ever feel drained? Yeah, once your mom get done sucking my shit, like, every fucking day. It's the best drainage in the world. Also, I know, that was bad, my fault. I know. Boo, Sean. Boo, boo, boo. Dot, dot, dot. I already know. Yap, yap, yap. All right, whatever, bro. I just had to break up the monotony. Y'all was hopping. Y'all was typing paragraphs. I just had to break it up a little bit. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to, but I, I had to. Where a lot of streamers are introverted, but being a streamer requires you to do a lot of things that extroverts want you to do. So, like, in order to be good at something, you have to be one way. And in order to cope with it, the success of being good with it good at it you have to be another way that's also not true because there are a lot of streamers that just aren't good you ever notice that some people y'all be like oh these are industry plants and you got to do uh, in the rap world or whatever or the music industry you're like how the fuck did this nigga get famous how did this guy get the audience that they have i just don't understand i don't see it i don't see it and that's not coming at nobody in particular it's just to say that excuse me it's just to say that, like, you don't have to be good to have an audience, necessarily. And so that's what it is. Hassan's basically... Some people are just first. I forgot who... Uh, it was one content creator who used to do, like, Call of Duty videos, and I asked myself every time I used to encounter his content, I'm like, how the fuck... How? Like, and respect to him. Respect to him. But I just kept asking, I was like, how the fuck did you get this many followers? I just never, un I didn't understand it. Explaining that in a more... He wasn't good at the game, 
<laughs> he wasn't uh, engaging as a commentator. There's just literally nothing. I'm like, hey, man, I fuck with it. Uh, like, I fuck with know, it, man. Direct way, you could say, a, a simpler way. Uh, and, and he's he's getting shit on. But a lot of no, I'm not. No, okay. There was a person I had in mind. I just don't know his name exactly. But I remember the style of commentary he used to do. People think they're introverted whenever they're actually extroverts. Well, I don't know about that. Did you start the stream? You get, went right into this? I got, uh, yeah, because I fucking spent... I usually spend the first hour of my stream talking about nothing. And, and like, then I don't, like, play video games until, like, it's midnight. <laughs> or, or, like, five hours into the stream. I didn't do anything. Like, we gotta, we gotta get this shit done. Like, there's a lot of stuff to talk about today. I don't have time to fucking sit around and talk about, like, oh, <laughs> I went live late today because my... Fuck you mean he's literally you, okay? First of all... I started stream late today because I just got through doing so much work for a thing in particular that you have no fucking clue about. A lot of y'all don't know, I am just now, I'm just now, come March, March 3rd, I will just now officially be removing myself from my job. Come March 3rd. It's been, it's been since 2016. Don't say wow. Don't say wow. Because I'm going to end up doing something else. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to use that as an opportunity to do more things that I think could be lucrative. You know what I'm saying? Personally speaking, later on. But will I ultimately end up playing footsies with the workforce? Yeah, still, most likely. I can't help that I can't help the trauma that I saw or the the, the trauma Finally that I have. Full time streamer. I can't help the trauma that I have when it comes to my parents. I watch my parents, not only my parents but my siblings, work my entire life. I'm still going to be playing footsies with the workforce, still most likely. I don't want to, but it's so deeply embedded into my brain, it's hard to remove myself fully from that and embrace something like streaming. It's difficult. I want to, but will I? The world may never know. The world may never know. Back hurt. Oh my God. We really need to hear about this again? You always welcome at Sean, you know you always I'm not working at Tesla. Tesla. I'm, not I'm, not I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You guys scared thinking about unemployment? It brings me pride to be a part of the workforce like the women before me. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's nothing wrong with working. Absolutely not. You know, and, and, and some people feel empowered, you know, going to go get it. That's fine. You know, I'm I'm one of those people. I feel like there's this this I don't know what it is in my brain. It's just like uh, if I'm not leaving, I'm not earning. Like, I don't know what that it, I don't know what it is. I want to get rid of it, the mentality, but like it, it, I can't help it. Who the fuck cares? Streaming is definitely working. Streaming is definitely working. So, yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, we're not going to get Short into CEO. that again. Having streaming as a job is an exhausting situation. Yeah, yeah, of course it is, right? Hassan is right. People are just reactionary. They absolutely are. Someone actually said real job. What does that mean? Plus, even having a mandatory reason to get out of the house is nice. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. A real job is a job that you... We're going to get to the corny Big Sean bar soon. Okay, I promise. You have bullshit jobs are the ones that other people have. It's just that simple. It's quite trendy and quite frankly easy to shit on Hassan. That's the crux of it all. Well, hey, if it's so easy to shit on him, then why are you making up fake reasons to do it? If he's got so many bad takes and he says all this stuff that's wrong, then why not focus on that rather than taking Bro, something that's is totally understandable? Still wakes up at 6 a.m. to work and six days a week to this day. I, she did a lot for me growing up. I may not be in the workforce in my 50s, but I'll definitely have multiple sources of income. I agree. Dot Sean nigga, the work you do is working with the Illuminati. You be butt naked in the woods. All right, bro. 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 Niggas trying to expose and shit. Anyway. Uh, for context, at the beginning of stream, Hassan said personal or shares personal tidbits. He was talking about y'all are doing way too much. Like, what the fuck? He was talking I about how he. I from home and it feels right. weird, but it beats doing the jobs I used to do. It's definitely a bit draining, but the perks are great. Right. No creepy bosses. A plus two. 
and and that's fair. That's a fair assessment of 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 work from home. Like you're also not <laughs> you're also, you're also not even you're not going back online to talk about how how hard it is though. You know, obviously it's pros and cons, but if the pros outweigh the cons for you, then clearly it's better. You know, and I think that's the takeaway from streamers for the most part. They should you know uh, consider that. He was talking about how he went to a housewarming party for his friend and was worried that he came off as not a fun person to be around since he came off a nine hour stream. That's where the convo came about social battery. And there's nothing wrong with him saying that hundred percent. Nothing wrong with him saying that he could be valid and feeling drained. I just wouldn't verbalize that to my audience full of regular working class people, most likely who have the exact same issue because that's not a problem that's unique to streaming. Then turning it into something that it's not. Did y'all know after, like, like, uh, whatever. He makes thousands of dollars a day. Him trying, him making takes, trying to relate to normal working people is fucking stupid. Well, there are normal working people that also make thousands of dollars a day. <laughs> what? Where? Chad, we, we call those, what, what did the red pill call them? High value, high value niggas? High value citizens? <laughs> the fuck who's regular who's a normal person working a regular job making a thousand thousands of dollars a day absolutely no way <laughs> niggas said put me on exactly what are you talking about thousands a day niggas in his chat saying true what okay at the risk of of having my dick sucked like the skin sucked off my shit y'all have to keep sucking my dick you have to i understand you know um sometimes we butt heads we don't see eye to eye you know what i mean but y'all gotta keep sucking my shit because if this is what you prevent me from saying i guess live and making a fool out of myself to this extent if you prevent me from saying some shit like this 100 percent, keep sucking my shit because this is crazy they're they're enabling they're they're saying true what do you mean by that so like i don't really understand like what your point is that's not true yeah, I mean, wh wh what do you mean? It's a stupid comparison. Yeah, like what? Like, do you think streamer is the only job that you can make a lot of money in? No, that's also not what you said, though. I have tons of friends that make tons of money. And a lot of them aren't streamers. I'm sure if you asked yourself, this person in particular, if he asked himself, who are the highest earners in his friend group, not saying they all exist within entertainment, but I'm sure majority of the friend group that makes the most money that he knows would be entertainers. It's going down in here. I'm with the money team. You don't use the minority to represent the majority. You know that what you're saying does not. It does not. It does not apply. Yeah, what do you mean? Military, like, my last that's, unit yeah, was that we would be up from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. doing search and rescue and then sleep the whole day. I'd, I'd off myself in a video game. No. I got a lot of... Bra That's basically what that is. I got black friends. No. It's chatter can't think past two. Exactly. They're not normal anymore. Well, I think that is normal as in like they don't work in entertainment. Right? They don't work in entertainment. Why do people assume that money solves all your issues and doesn't drain you? Well, hey, Kanye West said it. He said that they're, uh, I was going to make it. Wait, what did he say? I'm sorry. Entertainment. Why do people assume that money solves all your issues and doesn't drain you? Well, hey. Why does he, I don't like this comparison either because it's just. People make it seem like people with no money or people without as much money don't also have the same problems to a degree that I would argue is oftentimes more dangerous or more harmful than the people who have problems with money. Like I'm not people without money aren't so tunnel vision that they think or believe that their entire existence on this on this earth, like all their problems will go away if they had a bigger paycheck. Like, yes, more money will be nice so that I don't have to worry about these things. But at the end of the day, I still got personal problems. I got my own traumas to deal with and family nonsense. I got, you know, uh, uh, people that I have to deal with. I got, I might have health issues and whatnot. Like money makes things easier, but like, it's like uh, the people who have like a, a crazy amount of money 
have this misconception that people without as much think money is like their only goal and it's just not they got other shit that they're dealing with too the same shit that y'all deal with they also deal with but with less money kanye west said it he said that there uh i was gonna make it i was gonna make a joke but i figured actually you know what We'll we'll give that another six months before I make. Like, do they think that regular people are just so poor that like okay, I'll just get I just hand this dude five thousand like I don't know five thousand is kind of crazy, but like five million for this person, and then like all their problems go away. You're you are significantly improving this person's life in one aspect, but they still got other shit that they got on, going on. That's the point. It's jokes. Um, he said, uh, "Having money isn't everything, but not having it is." I think that's really the truth, right? That's it. So, like, if you don't have money, that's everything in your life. If you do have money, you realize... This is not true. ...realize that there are other problems in life that are also important. But if you don't have that, money is going to mean more to you than almost anything else. So, yeah. And that, uh, that doesn't mean that he's wrong about it improving aspects of your life that objectively were, will be worse if you don't have as much money. But that's just not the full scope of the situation. It's just not. doesn't make a lot of money when you actually normalize the salary. Engineers, doctors, people in trades make median more than a streamer. Streaming is extremely top heavy. It's like Louis well, of course it is. said, no rich man is fantasizing about taking the bus everywhere. And uh, there are a lot of people. Quoting Louis is crazy. But <laughs> it's funny still. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Calm down. And they stream eight hours a day and they get, let's say, 300 viewers, 500 viewers. They make $100,000 a year. Let's be very, very optimistic here. Wait, they make a hundred thousand dollars a year. You are not making a hundred thousand dollars a year off three hundred viewers. What? And uh, like, I mean, no, you're not. I'll be three hundred viewers. Real. If somebody was making that much money, and you know, like it was like, is this really a good idea for you to do this? Probably not. $100,000 is still a lot. It is a lot, but whenever you think about the fact that streaming is just so transient. With ads, you probably can't. You could put maximum ads on your shit. You're not, make, you're not bringing in six figures with 300 viewers. Even if you streamed every single day. Like, for example, you can get banned. Oh, well, now you're banned. Now what? Like, all of your job experience, everything that you did, like, it's completely different. Like, you're, you have, like, a three-year gap in employment. Uh, you have, like, this online presence that, you know, creates a context in which people see you. So, yeah, you can get fired. Exactly. No, yeah, you definitely can get fired. But the difference is that, like, streaming... I under, in this part, this makes a good point. This is fair. When... You 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 like if you if if your entire day or whatever is monopolized by you having a stream, you're not necessarily developing other skills that are valuable to the real world in the event that your streaming career came to an end abruptly or something like that, that you could fall back on. But generally speaking, a lot of people, not all of them, but a lot of people understand that fact before they start. And they have skills to fall back on in the event that they no longer want to stream or they can no longer stream or, you know, uh, be a content creator, you know. All, and, and also, if you did want to get a regular working job after that, the content that you've produced may be a point of contention when you try to get a regular job. So he's right in that it's difficult for people to transition out of streaming once they fully embrace it. That could be fair. But that's its own unique issue to streaming that I think is valid that people that do content creation could speak on publicly that people in the working class don't necessarily um, go through as often. I think that would have been a better point. You know, there are jobs that exist. But that's not what's being talked about. Just an entertainment. <laughs> but this is a good point. Streaming helps you uh, helps you understand and learn. That's definitely true. But at the same time. There are also a lot of people, and I think in most traditional jobs, uh, those people don't really have the same opportunities. It's like, for example, uh, what the fuck is this? Morning stars. What is this? What is, what is that? What is that? Where, where did that equation come from? If you work as an accountant, 
and you get fired from one place, it's not going to be as hard to get another job as an accountant. Versus if you work on Twitch and you stream on Twitch, you get banned on Twitch, it's probably going to be a lot harder for you to transition over to YouTube or Kick. Uh, that's my point, right? There's negative externalities if a streamer wants to get a real job. Yeah, of course. And so it, it's really not that, it's not that complicated. But anyway, uh, yeah, so Hassan said this today, and uh, naturally everybody is uh, congratulating themselves. Just estimating how many subs you would need a month if you had a 50-50 deal. I've got a 70-30. You're still, can I look at my analytics on Twitch real quick? Let me see. What 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 was it for 2023? And I I would say I probably averaged on the lower end for 2023 because I was far less um on here, especially in the beginning stage. Let me see. I'll tell you what now as far as but I only uh, I gotta I gotta look. I gotta look. Let me see. Let me see. Boom. Can I go back to January of 2023 to December. Why can't I go back? What the fuck? I mean, I guess this is good enough. Wait, let me see. No, you mother. Let's see. What? All right, let's see. I think it said, let me hold some. Chat, it says zero dollars. <laughs> Chat, it says zero dollars. I'm about to show you. Chat, I can't help it. I'm I'm losing out here. I'm losing. Look, look, bro. That's crazy. Uh, I told streamers have it hard. It's so difficult. I can't, like, what am I supposed to do? I can't. I'm interactive. See, this is crazy. They literally they show exactly, bro. Appreciate the five gifted. Like, what do you mean cash out? Keep that job. I'm just saying. Like, what are you talking about? Nah, nah, nah. It it don't. It says not enough data because it's not enough income. That's what that's what that means, bro. Like that. Promise you. Shit, crazy when you really think about it. Damn. No monies, chat. That's what I'm saying. You really gotta look at the situation. Object. Oh. <clears throat> Here to support a broke nigger. Yeah. You need to go back to your doctor's office now. Mm-hmm. Nigga said try to get sympathy th subs. 11,000 subs with a 70-30. No, the 70-30 got introduced in October. Chill the fuck out. Get off dick. Hop off meat. Okay. No, I didn't just see the real amount. I'm just saying. How long are you going to stay at your job? Do you think it'll be better than another company? Um... That's the thing. I, I got a lot of connections at that place. I did. I got a lot of connections, a lot of openings, um, a lot of valuable, you know what I'm saying, uh, associations. Um, and that's why it's difficult to remove, you know what I'm saying, myself fully from that. That's why it's difficult to remove myself uh, from, from something like that. You flipping houses? I wish. Nah, I'm not doing that. I want to though, just for funsies one time, like legitimately though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back before I get before I get lost. Yeah, but y'all seen it, bro? Like zero dollars, bro. No income. Homeless. Ask envy for help. Y'all are so weird. Why did a nigga DM me? Make sure you show your YouTube analytics too. What is wrong with y'all? Like, why are you on it like that? Like, nobody even, like, you doing too much, bro. YouTube don't even let you do that. Like, what are you talking about? Niggas pocket watching for what? Yeah, the room behind me just on some green screen shit, bro. What's wrong? What did I do? That has nothing to do with me. That, bro, ask YouTube, bro. Ask YouTube. About, here's a dumbass clip. 
Hassan being welcomed into the emo community. What the oh, fuck yeah. is that? Did, oh, yeah, he did the emo. I saw that with that Johnny guy. I looked at that earlier. And so there's a lot of people. Screaming is literally the easiest part of being a content creator. You just sit down, make money, just spawns in. It's just so goddamn free. Who is this guy? Does he stream? They have 400 viewers. What the fuck? Streaming is easy. Being good at streaming is hard. What the fuck? <laughs> Why would you say that? Hopefully now he understands. Wow! That's <laughs> such a dick riding ass shit. That's some dick sucking shit to say. What do you mean? Damn. I think he said 400. <laughs> Peasant. Peasant shit. Like, ew, that's disgusting. What do you mean by that? He said you got 400 viewers. <laughs> that's actually hilarious. That's so not right, though. That's like, bro, you don't think that the smaller streamers are doing shit that the bigger streamers get just get more credit for? You know how many ideas I've seen stolen from larger streamers that smaller streamers he have really uh, initiated first? How is that? What? How do you blame me for that? I didn't say that. And 400 is good viewers. Chat. This is not a website. This is not a website for people to organically grow the same way YouTube is. You could be on Twitch and, and keep 100 viewers an entire year and do everything quote unquote right. 400 is good viewership. That's nothing to scoff at. There, there are there are YouTubers that have a million subscribers that can't maintain four to five hundred viewers. He may be a better streamer, but he a worse cleaner considering a roach makes a feature on every other stream he has. Why y'all keep saying he got roaches? Soldier Boy at four hundred viewers right now. I'm saying it take a minute to streaming culture is just way different. Like that should never be used as an indication, especially when you don't grow organically on this website, bro. It's it's more it's better to have outside streams of viewership coming into your Twitch to get more viewers. If you don't have that, you're not gonna grow at the same rate as a lot of these other people. You need a Twitter that's farming your clips. You need a you need a, a, a TikTok that's farming your clips. You need uh, YouTube that's farming your clips. Like, there's other shit. You just, you can't get it on Twitch alone. understand, obviously, there's a lot of people. A oh, bad take. No, isn't 400 viewers good? Oh, it's definitely good. But you're not going to go and tell somebody who's one of the top streamers on the entire platform that it's easy. Do you really think that Hassan's experience and this random's experience is going to be the same streaming? I mean, maybe not socially speaking, no. But, like, that doesn't bar him from putting in more effort, potentially, on his streams than any number of larger streamers. Like, he might put in more effort. I don't know. I, with a name like, like Goblin, I would assume you don't. I, Goblin's just a crazy name. But, like, we could give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he is. Now, now what's your retort? What do you say now? That's insane. Of course 400 viewers is good. But don't go talk to somebody who gets 20,000 regularly and act like you're on the same level because you're not. All streamers have some kind of cope. Well, what's the cope here? I mean, I I'm not really sure if I'm understanding this. We're about to. Say people disagree with this take now, on the whole yeah, job thing. Made up fake reasons. It's almost over. Them for it. When you add it, it's almost over. A word to his take socially it does a lot of heavy lifting unless I miss some context. Kind of disingenuous. A lot of your success was lucky. You probably went viral and got lucky. That's what the the whole internet ecosystem would be so much better if more people would admit that. Sometimes you got in at the right time. Sometimes the algorithm recommended your shit at a rate that was higher than somebody else who might have deserved it. To say that this is like some divine understanding of like you got it here solely because you're just the best of the best. I don't think any person is reasonable or rational, rational should take that stance. I just think that's a very pompous, egotistical thing to think that no part of randomness had a part in your success right now. Wait, there's a roach clip. Well, he's talking about socially. Like the reason why I'm saying that is because that's what he's saying. Don't say this is the roach clip. So, for example, like uh, if I listen the to the clip, the right? Collection. Like you just listen to the, the first few seconds of the clip. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. 
boss he has here from like Chick-fil-A or what? My nigga, you got other problems. I hope you are like healthy. Whatever that is. Cause this well, isn't. That's obviously this is how my mom chili. I bet that's the room right now. That is Warcraft. No wonder why it looks this way. <laughs> oh, okay. I, 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 oh, those are I, new bags of chips too. I'm not gonna lie, it's comfy as fuck in here. If you just clean the room, no, I know it's dirty. It's actually horrible. But if you just clean the room, this look like a comfy little setup, bro. Well, yeah, and and here, and here. But this nigga like, loves coke though. It's trash. And in a party box of, not... of, of right there. Yeah, we oh, were we, we were chilling. That. You know, I'm probably not the the most appropriate person to be. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the roach? Is this the roach? Is this the roach? Or is that a bean? Saying this, but you probably should eat out less and move more. I'm just assuming. I'm making a terrible assumption based on this. And that and, and this is another conversation that could be started. A lot of people think that when you are thin, like this dude, that you are healthy. His insides probably look like Elden Ring. If this is how you eat, your shit is fucked. It's over for you. You're going, no. how do you even function? Like I said, don't get it fucked up. There's, there's work for everyone to do. He probably skinny fat. It it don't matter. I'm saying your insides are screaming. This isn't a sustainable way of living. Damn. I will have you know. I will have you know. What do you know? That I cook myself a steak after I walked a mile down. That's actually horrible. Holy shit. To the store to get another one of the sodas. Damn. Well, I cooked myself a steak last night. I don't want to hear about it, okay? I fuck with steak too. Steaks is great. I can only eat like one a month though. I'm not supposed to you're not supposed to have steak too often. But I fuck I fuck with the energy of making your own meat, you know, because I'll be playing with my meat too. Hold on. Let's finish this. Oh no, 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 no. Social battery wise, unless you're in re So I'm not using the word. I just I listened to the clip. How do I gotta That's go? All. He said it. It's not hard. No, I didn't mean that. I think most people made up their mind on something like this before they listen to it. So whenever they have to hear context that makes their original assumption wrong, they're getting mad at me. That's the problem. You're losing exactly. me. Exactly. It's like a supermodel saying they have a harder job than a catalog model. Well, I'm not really sure. Sansa, who do you mean you're not sure? Father Simmons for being the young turfs. There's everybody always has their opinion about Hassan. Why do y'all want to see my kitchen so bad? Things that didn't happen and then getting mad about them. It makes you look stupid. That don't actually exist. Some other types of streaming? Oh, yeah. Hassan didn't start from zero. Who cares if he did? Very few people start really from zero. That's a fact. Most people have advantages. And I'll tell you one thing. If you're able to be talking in this chat, you didn't start from zero either. There's people in the world that don't have an internet connection, and you do. Okay. But... All right. Never mind. Never mind. It's okay. <laughs>